computer monitors, as with most technology, aren't perfect. While we all hope to get our fancy new 4K IPS monitor shipped to us in perfect condition, that's not always the case. In fact, we've had this happen to us fairly recently, so watch for that video in the coming weeks. There are many different types of defects that can plague not just computer monitors, but even extending to modern TVs as they use the same panel technology. Let's start off with what's often the easiest one to spot, dead or bad pixels. Dead and stuck pixels are fairly similar and both fairly common. A stuck pixel refers to the condition in which one of the red, green, or blue cells in a pixel gets stuck on. Well, a dead pixel is the exact opposite and one of those or more gets stuck off. Stuck pixels are much more common and are typically most noticeable against a darker background where you can easily see the bright colors of the stuck cells. Dead pixels, on the other hand, are typically a bit harder to notice because the cells are stuck off and much less common, but they can still happen. Both dead and stuck pixels may be able to be fixed by using a light pressure rubbing on the affected area with your finger or a pencil eraser and making sure you don't scratch your monitor in the process. Uh, they may not exactly work entirely. Special software does exist. If that doesn't work, that can be used to flash a series of rapidly changing bright colors over the affected area. Another common issue is what's known as backlight bleed. Backlight bleed is typically noticeable in older or more cheaply constructed monitors. Backlight bleed occurs when there is insufficient masking around the bezel of the monitor, causing the backlighting to bleed through around the edges, hence the name, making them appear much more washed out than the rest of the monitor. Similar to backlight bleed, clouding can occur as well. With clouding, instead of bleed around the edges, it can occur throughout the screen. Both backlight bleed and clouding are most noticeable if you have no input connected to the monitor and it remains black with the backlight on, but it can still be noticeable with the screen on. If you have an IPS panel monitor instead of one of the more traditional, say, TN panel monitors, you want to make sure that you're not confusing backlight bleed with something that's typically referred to as IPS glow. IPS glow looks pretty similar, and it's a glow that's visible on some parts of IPS panel screens, especially when you view blacks or darker colors at kind of an off angle. With IPS glow, there's really nothing you can do to avoid it, short of checking reviews to see if other people experience it too. It's more or less an issue with the panel itself, not the individual unit. Lastly, we have screen burn-in. Screen burn-in is a fairly serious issue. Burn-in is typically noticeable when changing the screen's content, such as when switching on windows. If an image is left on a screen for a long enough time, burn-in can cause the monitor to continue to display artifacts of the image even after it is changed. This ghosting, as it's commonly referred to, can fade away after a few minutes, or it can last multiple hours or days in extreme cases. Burn-in itself should normally only be an issue on most old cathode ray tube monitors because that was inherently a problem with that technology. But if you happen to have an issue with an LCD monitor like a computer monitor or a TV, uh, you want to make sure you take care of that right away because that's not something that's supposed to happen. Uh, the damage will get worse. The damage will definitely get worse. So you want to make sure you get that serviced as soon as possible before anything persists. If you're having issues like burn-in or backlight bleed in some cases, long exposure can cause permanent damage. So be sure to send your monitor in for repair if you notice that ghosting. The last thing you want is to have phantom images on your fancy new 4K monitor that you depend on for daily use. Again, we had this happen just recently. It's not exactly something that you want to deal with. So guys, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. If you have any questions or comments, let us know down below. If you guys ever had any monitor issues pop up, leave a comment. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and as always, don't forget to subscribe.